Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on lesson content. Got no place to be. Got no place to go. Come hang out with me on the Mr. Flanders Show. Top of the morning to you, everybody. Mr. Flanders here. And we are getting ready to dive into our science lesson. Uh, before I begin, a couple of things. Uh, number one, you might hear some birds chirping out the window. I guess they decided that I did not get to work in peace this morning. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, secondly, at any given point, I am waiting for my baby Jensen to uh, wake up and start screaming at me because he is napping five feet away from me. So if that occurs, I apologize. Uh, also, if you hear any sort of snoring at all, keep in mind that is not me, that is the slumbering child a couple feet away. Uh, anywho, let's go ahead and look at our science for now. Uh, so our science uh, this week, we are still looking at habitats, and we are still dealing with the rainforest. Um, you can see this page here in front of you. It says, the rainforest. Uh, now normally we would take these pages, the, this page and the next page, and turn them into little... Uh, uh, science readers, basically, um, but since they should be front to back, if you receive the, the paper packet, that's how they should be. Uh, we're not cutting them out. We're not uh, putting them in order. Um, however, you are allowed to color them, okay? And you will need this information to answer the next two worksheets that come along with them. Um, so these two, these first two worksheets, they're not really. Um, work as much as they're just coloring and getting information. The two sheets after that, those are your worksheets to do. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into uh, some of the pages here for our science reader. Uh, as I already said, we are learning about habitats, and this week's habitat is still the rainforest. And as you can see, I mean, from the picture here, uh, it, it, if, if you didn't get the rainforest and think of rain as soon as I said that, well, this picture here makes it pretty obvious. Hey, look, there's rain in the rainforest. Um, if you remember from last week's readings, if you were able to get the packets and, and do the readings, um, the rainforest is always wet. It's always hot and it's always wet. All right, uh, let's go ahead and jump into this first page here. Uh, you'll notice a picture of some birds. They are called toucans. The word is right there. Let's go ahead and read what it says about toucans. A toucan is a bird that lives in the rainforest. Fantastic, good information to know. Uh, and this is, would be page number two. It says, rainforests are hot and wet. Oh my goodness, I think I just said that. I think this thing is copying me, how dare it. All right, uh, go ahead and take a second, You know, look over everything, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on. And remember, if at any given point you need to pause the video, please do, I will not be offended. I will only cry a little bit. <clears throat> All right, uh, here's the next page. Uh, these are the other pages that would be in our book if we were to make it into a book. Um, tropical rainforests can be found around the world. Fantastic. All right, this next one here. Ooh, it's got a bunch of animals in it. It's got a parrot, it's got a gorilla, uh, it's got a snake, a red-eyed tree frog. Looks a little bit like my sister. Don't tell her I said that. Um, let's see, it says the rainforest is home to many animals. Yeah, it's a really good picture here to show that. Oh, and here we go. If you had last week's reading, you heard me butcher this word. This is uh, an epiphyte, okay? And it says, epiphytes are plants that live on other plants. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool if you got me, um, or if you ask me, a plant that lives on a plant. That's pretty awesome. And if you have any problems with that word, you can look down here at the bottom and see that it actually spells it out for you the way that it sounds. It's pretty cool. See, and then our last page here, we have a sloth. It says a sloth is a mammal that lives in the rainforest. All right, all right. I like that. Very nice, very nice. Um, let's go ahead and move this out of the way now. And we'll get looking at the worksheet that goes along with it. So remember, the first two pages, uh, they're just information, and they're for you to color if you want. Otherwise, this is where the real work is for our science for the week. Okay. So, uh, you're going to put your name up at the top. 
All right, and it tells you that this is the Rainforest Science Reader Worksheet. Well, we just read the Science Reader, it was just a little bit out of order. It says, record the sight words that you found in the story. Okay, and you need at least six sight words. Uh, sight words can be words like the, a, uh, is, in, hot, wet. Um, so any words that you found like that within the Science Reader, go ahead and write them down right here. The second half of the worksheet is story comprehension. Uh, basically, it's going to ask you questions to see if you remember them or not. So first question is, uh, what are tropical rainforests like? And you've got two lines to tell me about it. Are they uh, windy and cold? Are they uh, dry and green? Are they rainy and wet? Go back to the story if you need to and tell me uh, what are tropical rainforests like? Then question number two. What is a type of plant found in the rainforest? Oh my goodness. Okay, we totally went over that just a minute ago. It was on page number three in your science reader. Okay, um, I said it was a word that I had a really hard time with. Um, I think you guys though should know by now what it is. Go ahead and write that answer right here on the line. And then number three, what is a type of bird found in the rainforest? Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's many different types of birds that we could find in the rainforest, but if you look up here at the top, I think this is the guy that they're talking about. And you'll find his information on page number five in the science reader. Okay? So after you finish this worksheet, um, you're going to go ahead and flip to the next one. And this is your last science worksheet for the day. And remember, the expectation is you're not doing all of these in one sitting, you're just doing them throughout the week, okay? So I'm going to flip this around, and I know there's some directions here, don't worry about that. Um, what I want you to worry about instead is what I'm about to tell you. So uh, this is a rainforest worksheet, go ahead and put your name here. It's going to ask you three questions, and all I want you to do is draw what, uh, what each one is asking for. So for example, this bottom box right here, it says habitat. What I want you to do in this big square right here is draw a rainforest habitat. Draw what it looks like. Over here in this top box here, I want you to draw some plants. Okay, This is a great picture of what we were reading about just a little bit ago in that science reader. So draw some plants that you would find in the rainforest. Okay, And then your last one is going to be animals. We uh, heard about a about five or six different animals uh, that live in the rainforest. I want you to draw a picture here of at least three of them, okay? And if you can label them, that would be really great too, okay? So if, for example, if you draw a bear, uh, you're gonna draw your bear and then you're gonna write the word bear, all right? Uh, other than that, that is all you're doing for science this week. I'm trying to keep uh, our science and our social studies light. Uh, just because I know that some of our reading and some of our math can be a little a little much So I'm trying to dial it back a bit with that stuff as well as our science and our social studies um, Because I want you guys to learn but not feel just completely overwhelmed. Oh my goodness So on that note, I'm gonna get heading off uh, I'm gonna get ready for our social studies work and um as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know or, or let your parents know. They can reach out to me. Um, if you are using Flipgrid for our class now, uh, you can also post a little video to me about uh, maybe a question you have about the work or tell me something that you were doing within the work or something that you really liked. Okay? There are a lot of different ways you guys can get a hold of me, and I really, really would like to hear from you guys, actually. Um, yeah, I miss you guys. Wish we were in class. Um, and uh, I look forward to when I can see you guys again. Okay? Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next lesson.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flanders here. It is another lovely day for learning. Uh, I don't know if you can hear outside the window right now. There are birds chirping, uh, the sun is shining, and I've got a baby sleeping five feet away from me. So if you hear some snoring, it's not me. Um, on that note, let's go ahead and just dive right into this assignment. Uh, these three pages are going to be your social studies assignments for the week. Um, they're pretty easy, just like the ones we were uh, going to do during our week one of our curriculum. I know some of my friends were able to do that, some of my friends weren't because of the printing issue. Um, I know some of my friends were also having some issues with Google Classroom. For now, we're just going to keep trucking along. I'm going to keep making these videos for you and walking through the assignments as best as I can. Um, the good thing is, again, uh, just like we were supposed to have last week, uh, and you might have had last week, uh, these are some pretty easy social studies assignments. Um, but as always, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, let me know or let your parents know. Uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and dive into this first worksheet. Um, we are still working with timelines like we were last week, uh, and this looks like a pretty cool timeline. Um, <clears throat> our first part of our timeline, our first uh, event from the timeline is we come to school. The second activity is we have math. Our third activity says we have recess. Our fourth one says, we have reading. And our fifth one says, we eat lunch. So it looks like this whole timeline here is about what we do at school. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump down to number one. Number one, when do they have lunch? Do they have it before recess, after reading, or before school? So to answer number one, go ahead and look at the timeline here, this timeline for school, and answer when do they have lunch? Make sure you're circling the right answer. For number two, uh, what would you add to this timeline? Draw it. So think about what we would normally be doing at school, guys. Uh, think about the activities we do. We have you know, social studies, we have math, we have reading, we have our specials. Think about what you would like to add to this timeline here and just draw it, all right? All right, let's go ahead and move on to page two of this activity. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. So this is a timeline that's incomplete and it looks like we're gonna have to complete it. In fact, that's what the directions say. Uh, look at the timeline, draw to fill in the boxes. So you'll see that this big box right here is blank and it ties to the end of the timeline. The second big box here is also blank and it ties to the middle of the timeline. The first activity we see is we come to school. And then there's the next activity which is blank. The activity after that says we go home. And then the final activity is blank. What you can do to finish this timeline is actually look at the previous page. In fact, I'm gonna bring it back up. You can look at this page here and see what the activities are that need to get put onto this timeline, okay? Um, if you guys need, you can go back in the video, pause it on there as you're finishing up this timeline, or if you, know, you got the packet in front of you, you can flip through it. Um, but this should be a pretty easy activity. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump to the last page now, okay? And we're actually moving away from timelines, and we're going to be starting. Uh, this this is the introduction to our new unit, uh, being a good citizen. And uh, <clears throat> you'll notice that this activity is called being a good citizen at school. Let me go and read this passage to you before we jump into the questions. We help each other at school. We listen. We share and take turns. We care for our class. We care for our school. We are good citizens at school. If you look at this picture here, everybody looks like they're sharing, they're being nice with one another, they are, um, you know, just 
getting along, and that's that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and look at the questions now. Uh, question number one: How can you be a good citizen at school? Well, answer A says we could run in the classroom. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, option B says we could help each other. Okay, that's not bad. And then option C, stop listening to the teacher. Oh boy. Um, don't know if that's such a good option. Uh, why don't you guys go ahead and go through those choices again and see which one is best to make you a good citizen at school. Remember, you could run in the classroom, you could help each other, or you could stop listening. Circle the right answer. And then number two, what are the students doing in the picture? Okay, well, uh, I think I actually already gave you guys the answer. If you were paying attention to what I said when we were looking at this picture here, uh, yeah, you'd, ha you'd have the answer. Um, but I'm not going to say it again. I'm just going to go over what the choices are. Your choices are sharing. That's what they're doing in the picture. They're crying. And they're fighting. Which are they doing in this picture? Think about it. Circle the right answer. Um, and that is it for social studies today, my friends. Uh, remember, you don't have to do all of the activities at once. You can save them uh, for uh, every other day. The expectation is you are doing your assignments Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, so don't worry if, uh, if you have the whole packet in front of you. You are not supposed to be completing everything at once. Okay? With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hop over to another lesson. I will catch up with you guys later. I miss you. I wish we were in class right now, um, but I'm really glad that we're still able to continue our learning this way. Um, with that, you know, I want you guys to stay strong, stay positive, and I will see you all later.